Canada is taking significant steps to renew its operational reach in the Arctic by evaluating the BVS-10 Beowulf, a modern all-terrain tracked vehicle designed for the world's harshest environments. The vehicle, offered jointly by BAE Systems Haglands and General Dynamics Land Systems Canada, positions itself as a low-risk, readily available solution for the country's domestic Arctic Mobility Enhancement DAME, program, an initiative intended to replace the Canadian Army's aging BV-206 fleet. In recent statements, both companies highlighted their partnership as a way to deliver a mature platform backed by a strong continental support network. With the Beowulf already chosen as the U.S. Army's cold-weather all-terrain vehicle, its entry into Canada would build on existing production lines and open the door to deeper interoperability with Arctic-focused Allied forces. The Beowulf stands out due to its articulated twin-hull design, which enables impressive mobility on terrain where wheeled vehicles typically fail. Its extra-wide rubber tracks distribute weight over soft surfaces such as muskeg, deep snow, and sand, ensuring consistent traction. Amphibious capability further expands its envelope, allowing it to traverse open water, slush, and fragmented ice, conditions that define vast swaths of Canada's northern frontier. Under the hood, the vehicle uses a diesel power plant producing roughly 285 horsepower, paired with robust heating and insulation systems tailored for extreme cold. With the ability to operate at temperatures well below minus 40 degrees Celsius, the Beowulf is engineered for missions that require extended endurance, limited logistical support, and reliable performance across the Arctic archipelago. A payload capacity exceeding 5 tons and a modular interior configurable for cargo, personnel, or specialized mission kits give commanders considerable flexibility. Beyond raw mobility, the vehicle incorporates communication solutions compatible with NATO standards and includes features designed for reduced electromagnetic emissions, an asset during operations where stealth and low observability matter. These attributes make it suitable not only for military deployments but also for humanitarian assistance, remote patrols, and Arctic sovereignty missions. General Dynamics Land Systems Canada's role in the proposal focuses on domestic integration, long-term maintenance, and alignment with the country's industrial and technological benefits framework. By localizing production and sustainment, the partnership promises economic returns alongside operational advantages. The approach also mirrors Canada's broader defense policy, which emphasizes interoperability with allied northern nations such as the United States and Norway. The potential acquisition comes at a time when the Arctic is becoming strategically more contested. Melting ice has opened new maritime routes and intensified interest in northern natural resources. As Canada expands its surveillance and response capabilities across this rapidly changing region, an adaptable vehicle like the Beowulf could play a central role in maintaining a persistent presence and supporting the recognized maritime picture and common operational picture in the high north. Ultimately, the Beowulf represents more than a fleet replacement, it symbolizes Canada's evolving strategy for addressing climate-driven challenges, safeguarding sovereignty, and ensuring mobility in one of the toughest operating environments on Earth.